Namaste everybody. This is Toots from Old School Shaving. I hope you're all well. It is a Saturday evening and um, get ready to join me for my straight razor shave. In case you're wondering about the title of my video, it's my new self-dubbed abbreviation. It's called SSWM, Straight Shave With Me. I see my wife watch videos on TikTok um, get ready with me videos. So I've coined my own uh, abbreviation SSWM straight shave with me. Remember if you see it catching on as a vibe You've seen it here first So today's shave is Contrary to what I'm having here I'm having a cup of masala chai tea But today's soap will be Master Soap Creations Peppermint Latte. So there's a story behind this. In one of my recent shipments, Nando sent me a sample of a new tweaked base. There's a substantial change to it. It was sent to me in this little cute container. I know some people like these little travel containers. And um, it has a very substan substantive uh, change to it and I'll be testing it for the first time tonight. Um, those of you who don't know, I don't make it publicly known but Nando's given me permission to do that. I'm, I, I officially test many of his soaps prior to release. Many of the collaborations and so forth, I test them rigorously sometimes for up to a month or two prior to release. Um, and I appreciate the fact that Fernando values my sometimes overly constructive criticism and uh, I really appreciate that about him. So, in actual fact, I need, uh, let me share with you. So in about June 2021, I was looking for a very slick soap for head shaves and I by chance stumbled upon Master Soap Creations on Instagram I DM'd him and the rest is history. That's a short, short version of it. So our brush today is this baby. It is from Portugal. It's a very inexpensive brush. It's a Smoke Owners Club. It's a two band, finest badger. This brush rivals my Simpsons Commodore X3. I kid you not. It's very, very soft and uh, it has the right amount of backbone and I quite enjoy it. Let's get loading. So I'm going to load from the puck. I have a new subscriber from um, Germany gentle by the name of Volker. Thanks for the subscription and thanks for your, for your very substantive post on one of my prior videos. I'll answer your question when I get to the shaving bit. But thank you for the feedback and kind words. I truly appreciate it. Okay. Nearly there. I adopted this loading technique from I've seen Jacques from Dapper Shapes do it on occasion and I've watched, there's an Italian barber I see him on Instagram and I've noticed that all of the barbers load, brush, load brushes like this. It seems to work well and I have since adopted the same approach. Look at that. I can already tell this lather is going to be epic. So let's get to the people's pre-shave. So I will take this proto lather. Can you see that? So that sample that I got, I pressed into the original tub of peppermint latte. Oh, sorry, I didn't tell you. This is a coffee and peppermint based um, fragrance. It has actual coffee in it, hence the darkness of the pore. And it is loaded with menthol which I quite enjoy, in moderation. If 
Banana soups do have a high menthol content. I enjoy it because, or is mentholated soaps that is, because I live in a very hot, humid uh, environment and it's, I do appreciate the cooling effect of it. I've just rinsed the puck. This is what it looks like. It's a very dark, rich, opulent pour. Okay, let's get lathering. Just spreading this across the face before I add water. I'll do so by dipping the tips into this bowl. I can already tell that this base loves water. Let's add more. I have about 24 hours of growth. I think I need a bit more product. I'm going to do this. I'm going to load directly from the puck. Add a bit more water. and more water. The more water I feed it, the more lather it pulls. That's what I'm looking for. I know the soap lathers very well. Okay, let's do a bit of cleaning up. I can taste the coffee and the soap. Okay. I'm 
love this texture of it. Just brilliant. Okay. And our sort for today will be this baby. This is the Ralph Aust 6 8 with streaked horn scales. It's a full hollow grind razor. And to my new German subscriber, you asked a question. Why is it that some people, I know you commented on my Karachi video, why is it that people prefer, or why is it that some people use a full inch blade? And uh, given your experience, when you are my age, the only razors people used were five, four eighths and five eighths razors. So there's a reason why I chose a 6.8 Karat 14 2.0 because it was the next best thing to a Philharmonica 14. And that's the only reason. And to answer your question, what is my preference? I do prefer a smaller blade, 6.8 and downwards. That was epic. Got some serious blue page here. I'll get to the razor talk shortly. And there's a reason why I prefer the smaller blades. I found the smaller blades have less flex than the bigger full hollow ground razors and I prefer a stiffer grind so maybe that's why they, I enjoy them more. I know the soap is doing very well. So yes, full inch blades, 8-8 eight, eight razors are often overkill. Some people like me enjoy the challenge of shaving with it. Because there is a bit of a learning curve with a bigger blade. Under the soap did very well on the first pass. But you'll notice I don't go too close on the first pass because I enjoy leaving a bit of stubble for the second pass. I enjoy against the grain more. Just gonna rinse a bit. Mental is getting to me. 
Oke, okay. yuk. Oh, I love this. Look at that. I'd also like to send a shout out to Baron from the Wet Share UK. I see he released a video last week. It's good to see you back. And I look forward to seeing more videos when you have time. Here you go, second pass. I'm very happy with this base. What I've noticed is, I do know what the new ingredient is, and that there's that same ingredient in another of his recent uh, releases. And for some reason, I'm getting consistently closer shapes with this new revision. It's not so much the slickness, but it has to do with how the blade cuts the hair. It's definitely doing something. I don't know what it is, but it's doing the right thing. Very rarely that I shave in the evenings, 
I prefer shaving in the morning. For me, shaving is a mindful meditation for me and it's something that I enjoy. Okay, let's do full spats. I really enjoy this part. This razor was honed recently by Shark from Dapper Shapes. And the edge is buttery smooth. Last week I used a similar razor, it's, it's twin, with the exception that it has a Spanish point. And plastic acrylic scale, but somehow I prefer that razor over this one. It just shaves better, I don't know why. Of course, these razors are handmade by Herr Aust, so each has subtle differences because they are handmade. Maybe that's why. So they may aesthetically look the same, but there may be subtle differences in the way it was ground or forged or something like that. Okay, let's just feel for pickups.
think I'm happy. That's BBS for me. Okay, let's get cleaning up. And we'll do both shape. I'm going to do something sacrilegious, forgive me Fernando. This is Mazagran by Westman Shaving. It is a coffee based um, scent and it pairs quite well with this. So I'll be using a bit of this. feels great thanks everybody thanks for watching if you made it this far well done and it's appreciated have a blessed weekend ahead take care oh namaste <laughs>